Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 14 of the Adobe Animate Tutorial Series. Today we're going to look at how to use Oval and Rectangular tools inside of Adobe Animate. So the Oval tool is located right over here. You can just click the Oval tool and then click and drag this out. And you can see that I have my Oval tool right here. Once you do that, you can actually increase the stroke size. You can actually change the style of the stroke just like you would on a regular uh, size over here. So if I were to go to the oval shape, you can see that now before drawing, I can actually choose something else. So I can end the start, choose the start angle, end angle, and inner radius. And you can see that I have a different sort of a circle right now. So now let me just do this. Let me just increase the start angle to about 90 degrees and then drag a shape and you can see that I have a pie chart like shape over here. And you can see that the shape is quite distorted when I drag it out. So if I were to hold shift, it'll actually be proportional just like this. So you want to make something like a Pac-Man, you just go 45 degrees over here and then end angle 45 degrees. And you can see that if you were to drag this out, uh, all right, end angle will be up zero. All right, there you go. So you can see that you can actually create something like a Pac-Man over there. So let me just drag this out of it. All right, over here. Okay, and angle minus 45 degrees. Let me try that out. All right, minus 45. Okay, it actually does not go backwards. So let us go over here and you can see that this actually just creates a Pac-Man like shape just like that. All right. So that is how inner radius, and if I were to the inner radius, you can see that a circular like shape actually starts up uh, in between. So I can just click and drag and you can see that I can create shapes like these out of the uh, circular tool. So there's the oval primitive tool over here, which will actually create a primitive type oval. We don't usually use that much. We'll stick to the regular oval, oval tool right here. So over here, what you can do is after you create a shape, you can individually select the lines. Uh, you can uh, just select uh, the shape over here and uh, with the primitive oval tool you can select the shape and over here uh, with the oval tool uh, you actually have separate colors and fillings right here so you can uh, drag out the fillings just like that and drag out the whole color just like that so that is how the oval filling works just like that so let me just click and drag everything out over here and then uh, delete it out and over here what you can do is you can uh, drag uh, the oval tool and the rectangular tool uh, works in a similar way. So it'll uh, create a rectangular shape. You can increase and decrease the stroke size. Let me just select it all. So if you want to select a shape, you actually have to double click it so that it selects the entire shape just like that. So just clicking the edge will uh, just um, uh, affect the edge right here. So when I double click, I can increase the stroke size and decrease the stroke size just like that. And if I want to reshape it, just go to the edge while it is deselected and then drag it out and you can see that the shape actually changes just like that. So that is how the shapes work. And over here, if I were to double click this out uh, over here, you can see that I can change the color of the stroke and so forth. So I can select all of it and change the style of the stroke just like that and so forth. So this is how everything works inside of Adobe Animate. Hope you guys like something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.